so now i will continue with uh, the reactive power uh, requirement in an induction uh, motor and induction generator so basically in induction generator the reactive uh, power required to establish the air gap magnetic flux is provided uh, by a capacitor bank connected to the machine in case of standalone system and in case of uh, grid connection it draws reactive power from the grid uh, to maintain its uh, air gap uh, flux so uh, uh, the reactive power is uh, required by the induction uh, generator and the motor so it must be provided so that uh, the uh, generator induction generator can uh, work uh, properly the reactive power is mainly produced by the uh, a synchronous uh, generator through the uh, rotor field current uh, uh, that is uh, method, that method is basically known as generator excitation a capacitor bank at the load uh, side locally generates reactive power thereby uh, it uh, reducing the overall reactive power demand as seen from the generator side the major limitation of the uh, induction generator is that is uh, it uh, requires uh, reactive uh, volt amperes uh, from the auxiliary equipment so an induction generator cannot generate reactive volt ampere so it requires uh, uh, reactive volt ampere from the supply uh, from the uh, supply means uh, for the uh, excitation process once uh, it is excited then uh, the problem goes away we not do not, uh, do not need uh, that uh, method furthermore uh, uh, in newly developed machines a uh, self excited induction generator uh, is proposed and it can be used to operate the wind turbines and variable speed and induction machine is uh, basically connected to a three phase capacitor uh, and an adjustable uh, resistive load the resistive load is implemented by a three phase uh, rectifier feeding an adjustable uh, load uh, the capacitor is uh, actually not consuming the uh, reactive power rather it supplies the reactive power and hence uh, the generator uh, of the reactive po power is a uh, capacitor so q is uh, positive uh, which implies that uh, uh, inductor is consuming the reactive power to uh, conclude it is better to say that the capacitor supplying the uh, the capacitor that is connected uh, with the induction uh, generator is uh, supplying the lagging current rather than uh, taking the uh, leading current however the induction generator may provide the necessary uh, power directly to the main utility grid but uh, it uh, basically it needs a reactive uh, power to its uh, supply uh, so it is usually provided by the utility uh, grid so when uh, it is rotated faster uh, uh, than its normal uh, operating or no load speed the induction generator will be capable of producing alternative powers so now let's come uh, to the uh, cooling mechanism that is being opted by uh, the vendors uh, there are different cooling mechanisms uh, which uh, are implied to uh, basically uh, uh, mitigate the effect of heat that might be posed on the induction motors and induction generators uh, and uh, by mitigating those effects the overall efficiency and uh, the overall uh, lifespan of uh, these machines uh, have been significantly improved so uh, gen uh, generally for low power uh, equipment like uh, the, uh, these two in the uh, figures uh, they need the uh, heat dissipation or uh, cooling to uh, avoid being overheated so there are uh, there are uh, uh, small machines like these one they will use uh, these uh, air fins uh, which basically act as a uh, uh, um, and these are uh, basically acting to uh, increase the uh, surface area in order to enhance the uh, air flow and hence the enhanced air flow and increased surface area 
will uh, be helping uh, to uh, uh, cool off this machine and dissipate uh, the heat energy in a uh, rapid and effective manner. Uh, the other machines uh, which are uh, larger in uh, size uh, might not be able to uh, be cooled using uh, only fans and heat, heat fins and using air, uh, air, air basically using air as a cooler will not be uh, sufficient so in uh, those machines which are larger in size and the heat generation is quite large for instance uh, like in uh, 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 large engines uh, they are water cooled so uh, a water co uh, cooling body is basically built around these motors inside of these heat fins where water is circulated by a separate uh, water pump and when the water is circulating it is uh, uh, taking away heat with it so uh, water cooling systems are employed in larger machines where the uh, heat is uh, heat generation of the machine is quite high so now we will uh, discuss about the torque uh, speed characteristics if uh, the if, and we will see the uh, torque speed curves of a single phase and a three phase uh, motors induction motor so if uh, the slip is uh, varied from minus 1 to 1 the torque will uh, vary and it's uh, tracing a curve is called the torque speed characteristic of induction motor from 0 to 1 uh, the it is known as the motoring mode and induction motor uh, and this uh, behaves like a motor and runs mechanical load attached to its shaft uh, if the slip is greater than 1 the induction motor behaves like a, a brake absorbing torque uh, while operating as a motor and uh, the rotor uh, conductors can get heated up and this uh, heat has to be uh, dissipated and we have discussed the uh, main uh, air cool systems and uh, the water cool systems and uh, uh, which are basically employed to uh, mitigate the effect of heat that is being generated in induction motor in a lower uh, 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 lower si uh, low sized machine or small sized machines they are basically air cooled and the larger machines are uh, employing the uh, water cooling system then there are eddy current brakes in the wind turbine uh, works on uh, these principles at high wind speed uh, 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 this can be uh, done by uh, reversing the supply voltage phase uh, sequence like if it is from C phase is from A, B to C, uh, then uh, it can be uh, reversed as A, C, B. So uh, it uh, reverses the uh, rotating field direction which acts on the uh, rotor and it helps to uh, stop it. So these are the uh, torque uh, slip characteristics. The torque slip, uh, slip characteristic can be basically uh, 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 has the following uh, uh, variables associated to it there on the uh, y uh, axis these uh, are the torque currents and on the x axis uh, these are the uh, slip speed on both the uh, uh, torque speed characteristics of the single phase induction motor and the three phase induction motor moreover uh, there is a torque uh, current uh, curve uh, which has not been shown over here uh, 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 these uh, some there are some uh, important parameters associated with the curve uh, uh, the uh, starting point or the lock rotor or torque is uh, usually over uh, here similarly the brake uh, uh, down torque is uh, depicted over uh, here and similarly uh, the uh, is uh, my different uh, parameters uh, are these are the uh, resultant uh, torque for a, a single phase uh, uh, induction motor uh, this is the uh, curve for the uh, torque developed by the uh, field one this is the torque developed by field two so the uh, these will follow different paths with respect to the strength of the field now let us discuss these torque uh, 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 slip uh, 
characteristics uh, in uh, detail so uh, uh, let's first discuss uh, the uh, these curves this curve is of the torque uh, slip uh, curve for three phase induction motor the uh, torque slip curve for an induction motor gives uh, basically it gives it uh, gives the uh, information about the variation of torque with respect to the slip uh, whereas the slip i will uh, redefine it uh, for your uh, revision the slip is defined uh, as the as the ratio of uh, difference of the synchronous speed and the actual rotor speed to the synchronous speed of the machine the variation of slip can be obtained uh, with the variation of speed that is when the speed varies the slip will also vary and the torque corresponding to that speed will be also vary so the curve uh, can be distributed in uh, three modes and those three modes of uh, operation are the uh, motoring mode which is the uh, depicted in the uh, middle one the uh, uh, then there are the bra braking mode uh, and then there is a uh, generating mode so let's discuss about uh, the uh, motoring mode in the mode in, in this mode of operation uh, the supply is uh, given to the stator side and the motor always rotates below the uh, synchronous speed the induction uh, motor torque uh, varies from zero to uh, full load um, as the slip varies the slip varies from zero to one uh, uh, it is basically zero at no load and it is one um, and one at uh, stand still uh, from the curve it is uh, seen that the tor uh, torque is uh, directly proportional to uh, the slip uh, it is basically uh, rising with respect to uh, slip un uh, until uh, the breakdown region uh, appears that is uh, more the slip the more will be the torque produced and vice versa the linear uh, relation uh, simplifies the calculation of uh, motor parameter to a great extent uh, before uh, I mentioned before the uh, breakdown region or breaking point, uh, point region. Now I will discuss about the uh, generator uh, mode or the generating uh, region. In this mode of operation, the induction motor uh, will uh, run above the synchronous speed and it should be driven uh, by a prime mover. The stator winding is connected to a three phase supply in which uh, it uh, supplies the electrical energy actually uh, in this case the uh, torque and the slip are negative uh, as seen from the curve uh, is uh, they are both uh, below the is, uh, below the uh, zero crossing or the uh, uh, point where x axis is defined it is actually uh, zero cr uh, crossing <coughs> The stator winding, uh, I was saying that the stator winding is connected to the three phase supply in which the uh, it supplies the electrical energy. Uh, as uh, I have explained earlier, that the curve indicates that uh, the uh, uh, torque and the slip both are uh, negative. So the motor receives a mechanical energy and delivers uh, electrical energy. So the induction motor is uh, not much used as a generator uh, because it requires reactive power for operation uh, that is the reactive power should be applied from the outside and uh, if it runs below the synchronous speed it means that it will uh, be consuming the electrical energy rather than providing it so next is the uh, uh, braking mode uh, in braking mode, uh, the uh, two leads of the polarity of the supply voltage is changed so that the motor starts to rotate in basically a reverse direction uh, other than uh, it was uh, supposed to be and as a result the motor will uh, stop. This method of braking is known also known as uh, plugging. This method is used when it is required to stop the motor within a a uh, very short period of time without using any kind of uh, mechanical brakes which might include the disc brakes and the uh, drum brakes the uh, uh, moreover i will add uh, that the kinetic energy stored in the uh, revolving uh, load is uh, dissipated uh, as heat 
also the motor is uh, still uh, receiving power from the stator which is also uh, which will also be dissipating uh, as a heat a heat energy so as a result of which the motor develops an enormous amount of heat and for this uh, stator is uh, disconnected from the supplier before uh, the uh, motor is basically uh, trying to enter in the uh, braking mode if uh, the load uh, which the motor derives accelerates uh, the motor in the same direction as the motor is rotating the speed of the motor may increase uh, more than the synchronous speed in this uh, speed uh, in this uh, type of scenario uh, the uh, uh, the machine uh, will be acting as an induction generator uh, which is capable of supplying electric energy to the mains uh, which tends to Flow down the motor, so it's uh, 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 the motor will be uh, slowed down uh, to its the uh, synchronous speed. In uh, this case, uh, the motor uh, will stop. This type of braking principle is uh, called the uh, regenerative bra uh, braking or the dynamic braking. And now I will discuss the second curve, that is the. Uh, 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 torque uh, uh, slip uh, characteristics of single phase uh, induction motor uh, from the figure we see that uh, uh, slip of unity for uh, uh, both uh, uh, the forward and the backward fields uh, develops equal torque but the direction of uh, uh, which are uh, both these uh, are opposite uh, in uh, uh, opposite uh, as the strength of let's say it is uh, uh, let's say it is x and this is minus x so the uh, torque developed by the field one is uh, exactly the same as the uh, torque developed by the uh, uh, field two but they are uh, opposite uh, in direction so the net torque produced is uh, zero hence the motor fails to start from here we can uh, say that these motors are not self starting unlike the case of uh, the three phase induction motor uh, there must be some means to provide the uh, starting torque if uh, by some means uh, we can increase the forward speed uh, of the machine due to which uh, the forward slip uh, decreases uh, the for uh, the basic uh, uh, for, uh, 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 if uh, by uh, some means uh, if we basically try to increase the forward speed of the machine due to which the uh, forward slip uh, decreases and the forward torque uh, will increase and the uh, reverse torque will decrease as a result of which the motor will uh, start to rotate in some direction from here we can conclude that uh, for uh, starting of single phase induction motor there should be a production of uh, difference of torque between the forward and the backward field if the forward field field of the to uh, field uh, torque is larger than the uh, backward field then the motor rotates in the forward uh, uh, direction and if the uh, uh, if this uh, scenario is reversed uh, then the uh, motor will be uh, moving in the uh, backward direction or if the uh, torque uh, due to the backward field is larger as compared to the uh, field in uh, torque due to the forward field then the motor will uh, rotate in the uh, uh, backward direction.